Welcome to the Core Report. I'm Corporal Remington Hall. And I'm Corporal Kathy Nunez. Two tragic events impacted our Marine Corps family these past few weeks. September 2nd, Staff Sergeant Jonathan Lewis died and nine Marines were injured when a CH-53E experienced a hard landing while conducting training at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Corporal Brian Michael Law was killed and 18 Marines were injured when the vehicle they were in rolled over September 10th at Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, California. Our condolences go out to the family and friends of the Marines lost and to all of those affected. Semper Fidelis, Marines. After one year of training and analysis, the Marine Corps released the research results from the Ground Combat Element Integrated Task Force. Now, if you don't know what the ITF is all about, let me break it down for you. Male and female Marines throughout the Corps volunteered to be a part of the task force, which was intended to research combat effectiveness of all male units compared to integrated units. Here's what the principal investigator for the ITF had to say on the findings. What the data found was that integrated units don't perform as well in terms of combat effectiveness and readiness as all male units. This data will better help the Commandant on whether or not to ask for an exception to policy. The findings will also provide the Corps with occupationally specific gender neutral standards for all MOSs Corps wide. For more information on the research results, click the link in the video description. As many of you know, we will soon have a new Commandant. After almost one year as our CMC, General Dumford is getting ready to serve as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Lieutenant General Robert Neller will pin on his fourth star and take over as Commandant after a passage of command ceremony September 24th at Marine Barracks, Washington, 8th and I. This is what Lieutenant General Neller had to say at his nomination hearing. If confirmed, I promise to dedicate myself to sustaining and providing the nation that kind of Marine Corps. The Marine Corps, the highest quality young men and women our nation has to offer, the most disciplined, best trained, and equipped and operationally capable Marine Corps we can afford, and to, best, to the best of my ability, ensure the health, well-being, and opportunities for success of the men and women who accept the challenge to be a U.S. Marine. Stay tuned for our live coverage of the ceremony. You can also watch the ceremony live at the link in the video description. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you next payday, right here on the Core Report. <laughs>